After 80 pounds of meth was found in Waco yesterday, we wanted to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Six News reporter Cole Johnson shows us a look at drug cases in Waco and what trends police have seen in the past. On Wednesday, a major methamphetamine bust in Waco by the Waco Anti-Gang Unit. It ended with 80 pounds of meth seized and three people arrested. But let's zoom out of this case and look at drug cases in general in Waco, giving you all a broader scope of what police have seen over the last couple of years. Year-to-date totals um, compared from 2019 to 2020, we're actually down 29%. Here's a look at the numbers. In 2018, Waco police saw 799 drug cases. In 2019, 803. Year to date for 2019 was 686 cases, whereas 2020 is at 488, giving us that 29% drop, according to Waco Police. Officer Garen Bynum with Waco PD says this does not mean there are less drugs out on the streets, just fewer cases right now. These numbers don't mean hundreds of huge drug busts. Something as simple as, um, you know, somebody found uh, an illegal substance during a traffic stop and that one person went to jail. But that doesn't mean they haven't handled big cases. That's one thing that they've that they've really um, excelled in is how to continue to build these cases. Uh, so we're not just doing one little case at a time, uh, but we're continuing to uh, search uh, for where the, the illegal narcotics are coming from. Waco is right along Interstate 35. Bynum says that makes a difference. He says we're in a unique spot being between two major cities and the interstate running to the border. With that... Um, we're just an easy stopping point uh, for a lot of uh, Ill you know, illegal narcotics. Reporting for 6 News, I'm Cole Johnson.